hello everyone. So for today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys the before and afters of my beauty room. So my mom is a interior decorator and she's very, very good at what she does. She personally is my favorite designer. Um, <laughs> probably the only one I know, but the only one I would ever want to know because she is so good at what she does. I would tell people that I never thought of what I wanted my wedding to look like or that kind of thing. They would freak out, but I'm like, guys, have you met my mom? She, let me give you a little scenario. She could take the inside of a giant dumpster and turn it into magic. Don't ask me how, I don't know how. I've always been there just to like, kind of like, you know, hold stuff up and help out. But she just has the vision and some people just got it, man, you know? And I'm okay with that, you know? I'm blessed to be related to her. So I had a few ideas, nothing too crazy, but I always come in with just a few ideas and then she just takes off with it and so what's going to happen is I'm going to show you guys a little bit of before and afters. You guys will see the whole entire room in the video and I also asked her to answer any questions that you guys would have so if you guys do have any questions for her if you're in this stage of your life where you're kind of just redoing something in your house or wanting to or you know inspired then just leave a question down below and there will be another video or maybe we'll go Facebook Live and just answer all your questions. So I'll keep you guys posted on that. And if you, again, have not followed me on Snapchat or even Instagram, then do so, all right? Well, let's get on with the video. All right, so here is the room before the remodel. As you can see, it's super basic, super not a cool color, so just wait. That's a closet, that's a door. It's not a bad color, but it's not my style, so keep watching. Don't forget to mask your floors. Well, what inspired me in this room was actually this chair right here. I found it at TJ Maxx, and I love the gold. And so I thought, we're going to have that blue, this dark blue. Um, we need something that will make it look bright and lighten it up a little bit. So this chair was my inspirational piece. And I think every time I've done parties or rooms or I needed one piece that would just like okay this is this is the one that is going to speak into the whole room so we wanted the room not to feel like a bedroom and so this is a cool way and idea and I'm sure you guys have seen this done before we just took off the door uh, painted the inside I've even sprinkled I mean sp sprayed some uh, glitter put shelves and this is a great way to store also you can add more shelving if, if your closet is bigger or whatever and uh, do more with it. So this is Jack Hammer's um, studio. So uh, what would she like? And she definitely wanted something that would look awesome on camera and would actually um, look classy. And um, so this blue, um, I was, it's called Loyal Blue by Sherwin Williams. And um, at first, you know, they were taken back because it looks too dark. But in, this is a small space, and sometimes it gives it depth. And so I really like to um, challenge myself when it comes to colors. And I think when you're doing, or any one of you guys decide, hey, this is the way I'm going to go, don't be shy. 
um, worst case that can happen when it comes to paint is um, you change it up. You just change it right back to the way it was or change it to something else. Paint is one of those things that um, you can, it, it's forgiven. Um, anyway, um, uh, knowing accent pieces um, is also key. You don't want too much, but you don't want to under accessorize because then it looks like it's not finished. You don't want to over accessorize because you don't want clutter. And so it's nice to keep a nice little medium. Um, as far as the accessories, you do not have to go expensive. Don't go spending your budget and blowing it on stuff. And I know a lot of you guys out there are smart and know about, you know, flea markets and boutiques and vintage shops and um, places like TJ Maxx and Ross and Marshalls and uh, Down East and all kinds of those, those places are really cool places to find those pieces that um, bring a lot to your to your theme, but it also um, it doesn't break the bank. That's always been my goal. Anytime I've done a project, anytime I've done a party, anytime I've, I've done a wedding, I try really hard to keep the budget down, but get the most result. Um, if you like more country, then you, you look for stuff into that category. If you like it classier, then you do it classier. If you like it more uh, vintage, uh, you do it more vintage. There is no wrong style, none, but there is a wrong way to do a style. Um, everybody's got their own style, and it's good to know what you like. Um, and honestly, I've seen beautifully done, uh, 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 you know, city or metropolitan look, or the... Um, you know, and I don't know all their looks because I've not been, I've not gone to school for this, but I've done this enough to know, I've made enough mistakes to know what not to do. And um, I urge you guys to do them, make them, have fun with it. Don't make it hard. Um, it, it should be fun, it should be easy uh, as far as, and don't overwhelm yourself, don't overthink things. Um, just go with the flow, you know, and sometimes less is more. Um, I want to thank you guys for giving me the opportunity to share with you. And if you've got any questions, please uh, write them on that website and I'll try to answer you guys. Thanks. Have a good day.